and welcome to Wager on the World Cup. I'm Yu Wei Jun, a sports writer for Free Malaysia today. Not much of the tournament is left, just a few matches to go. So let's take a look back at last night's first semi-final, which was France against Belgium. The match saw France beat Belgium 1-0, with Samuel Umtiti scoring the winning goal to put France into its first final since the 2006 World Cup. As for Belgium, the wait for their first entry into a World Cup final will continue, as the so-called golden generation couldn't live up to the hype that was set for them before the tournament. Now, let's take a look ahead to tonight's second semi-final, which is Croatia against England. Now, neither of these teams were expected to get this far, largely because neither of them have been to the World Cup semi-finals in a long, long time. Croatia not since 1998, England not since 1990. As for qualifying for the final, Croatia have never done so, and England haven't since 1966. Now, what's interesting about this is that both these teams are led by tournament MVP candidates, as well as the current star and the former star of Tottenham Hotspur. For Croatia, you got Luka Modric. For England, you got Harry Kane. So it'll be interesting to see whether it's the current Spurs star or the former Spurs star who leads their team to victory and a spot in the final. And speaking of the final, it's very interesting that it was France that won their semi-final. Because the fact that it's France has thrown up some very interesting scenarios. Because if Croatia win, France versus Croatia will be a rematch of the 1998 semi-final which was won by France. And if England win, it will set up one of the all-time classic rivalry matchups, as there's so much bad blood between these two teams, not just on the pitch, but off it as well. So, what's my prediction for tonight's game? I'm gonna go with an England win, as they will go on to the final to face their arch-rivals. Alright, this has been Wager on the World Cup, signing off!